it's it's just beautiful. G'day, Stu from UAV Futures here, and today, well, this is the part two, the big one of the Hawk 5, and out of any video I've ever done, I've never been more excited for my audience, my viewers, to get to see what we're about to do with this thing. So essentially what this is, if you haven't seen the part one, a little card should flash up here, but this is the part, the part, this is the part two, the good one, where we take it out to the field, rip it around, of the Hawk 5 from Emacs. And if you, you know, if you haven't seen the part one, essentially what this is, this is a bind and fly racer, but it is like no other we've ever reviewed or I've ever seen in the history of FPV racing because this thing is top tier. I mean, this is about as good as I have ever seen a bind and fly and it's coming in at a pretty good price of 250 bucks. And so you can take it out of the box, rip it around and the feeling you get on this thing is, it's like, it feels like a $500, like absolutely top tier racer, but a much, much more attractive price out there. So what we're gonna do, enough rambling here in the studio, let's cut out to the field, rip it around and show you guys why the Hawk 5 is such an amazing drone and why it's gonna change up our hobby because look, there is nothing else like it on the market to date. A bit of a shout out to leave some love for Grumpy Trev because he's just got back into town, he's been away for a bit and he's got some things to catch up before he can come out and get flying. So in this one, it's just Cal and myself from the speed gun. We still have a lot of fun, but share some love for Grumpy Trev as well. And if you wanna go watch that part one, I am giving away one of these bad boys. If you go check that video, there should be some rules and all that sort of stuff. And I'm gonna give one of these out to you subscribers. Anyway, enough rambling. Let's jump out to the field and find out why the Hawk 5 is such a special drone in three, two, one. Rightio, out here in the field, about to rip it around. This is like the one day we've had for like this month. We've actually got a little window of good weather. I'm hoping Grumpy Trev's gonna turn up as well, but we're out here with the Hawk 5. This is what I wanna see. This is what you wanna see. We're gonna find out how this bind and fly, and I mean like premium, hardcore track racer, how it's gonna go. We're here at the UAV Futures Test Track. We'll show you guys some HD footage. We'll hand it over to Crash Test Cal. And then the big one, we're gonna hit this thing with the speed gun and I'm really excited to find out you know how is this how fast is this bind and fly gonna go so enough rambling let's kick it off have some fun and check out some HD footage let's do it alrighty here we go on board with the Hawk 5 and I guess first things first I'm just turning around ready to take off and I want to say imagine this thing if you're at the race most people don't race with the GoPro one here so it's going to be even better on the stock tune with no GoPro now we're going to do some racing and a little bit of acro but this is its maiden flight and I thought gee what better one to show you this thing it is so silky smooth you're going to hear us talk about that a lot for this flight performance because look at it there is zero oscillations the thing is absolutely screaming and it almost feels like I'm using some sort of video stabilization software or something like that because this thing rip it around the UAV Futures test track which is where this thing belongs it belongs on a race course first and foremost but it is absolutely such a beautiful crisp amazing flight experience when you're ripping it around you're not going to be coming across any oscillations anything like that if you've got a quad in the past and you find it's a bit bumpy or you've got some vibrations that it's just not the case what I love about this drone you can take it out of the box it is tuned perfectly and you're going to get some results like this and it reminds me so much of my America when I was flying that around you know that was a really smooth flight experience but that was like a $500 drone that was right up there and out of reach you know financially I guess for a lot of people that was a that's a big expense but I think the price point of this one is just so much more attractive at 250 bucks you know that's going to work out of the box you don't have to do any tuning and then you're ready to rock and roll now i think we're going to test out a little bit of acro as well and i think it's really going to be suited to that because look it is so smooth you don't get any of that i guess prop wash or oscillation when you're sort of coming down and i don't know you know you guys be the judge of all the footage that you watch but i think you'll agree that on this one and the my, and my footage right here it is just handling everything you throw at it it's not jump all over the place it doesn't it's not zero vibrations like i keep saying that silky smooth it was an absolute dream to fly now, probably my favorite thing about this is it's going to let every pilot, you know, just jump in. If you take this thing to the races, you've got a craft that's more than capable. It's not going to break the bank and you still really can bring home the bacon if you've got the skills to pay the bills. Taking something like this to a multi-GP event or, you know, some of the others, it's right up there with those really much more expensive crazy races. And this is really going to shake the game up, in my opinion, and sort of change up what our binder flies are going to look like in the future. Anyway, let's hand it over to CTC. <laughs> I'm joking. Radio, I think you can tell from that flight footage what this thing is like, and I, I'm not going to say too much, but uh, let's hand it over to Crash Test Cal, see what he thinks as well about the Hawk 5. 
All right, Calvin, what do you reckon? What did it look like in the air, first of all? It looked smooth and it looked really quick and, and it looked like you were in 100% control of it. What did it sound like? It sounded smooth, it was quiet. I think that's maybe a function of these flow props and they seem to be performing really, really well. So look, it's a beautiful frame. It kind of reminiscent of the Proton in a, in a way. Yep. Uh, the arms are nice and thick. I think they must be about, what are they, four or five mil? Yep. And it's stiff and a well-designed frame. I just really love the way they've done it. There's a lot of attention to detail. Um, it's got a yeah, tiny, uh, beautiful little skinny plate underneath to hold your strap. And look, it's a great quad. And it's got the uh, Magnum stack in it as well, which uh, seems to be performing really well in this build. So look, we've got the capacitor on there. It's just a, a seemed to be a well-made and well-designed quad. All right. So let's see we'll how it handles. Put a pack on there and rip it around? Yeah. All right, right here. Let's rock and roll, CTC. We're going to be the... Oh, God. All right. There's some punches above its weight, so... Oh, wow. This feels good. Wow. Wow, this thing is amazing. It feels like I'm flying a flight simulator or something in as much as it's... It's just computer-like. The way it just... <laughs> performs it's just so precise obviously the guys at emacs have put some time into it, tuning this machine because yeah it, there's nothing there's nothing that you can criticize it for in the way it's performing it's just doing everything that you're asking it to do and it's doing it so smoothly and concisely it's oh wow look at this thing i don't think you'd have a problem like it doesn't it's not unruly at all but it's powerful and it's fast. I don't think you'd have a problem hitting gates at speed with this. I think this would be a great, a really great quad on the track. I'm just amazed at how good it is for a bind and fly. This is, uh, wow, well, this must be uh, the best bind and fly on the market right now. <laughs> wow, wow. You've said wow about 20 times. <laughs> Gee. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Oh. Is there any oscillations? Nothing, none at all. Is that the most, I guess, silky smooth quad you've ever flown? It is, and look, <laughs> what a great camera rig. If you want to get some nice smooth footage, oh, wow. But I, I think people are going to be winning races with this thing because, uh, look, you've obviously got the benefit of some very knowledgeable people who have put this thing together, and uh, it shows, it shows in the way it performs. An incredible build, look, it's durable, it's strong. Oh. Almost hit a tree there. Almost, but I didn't. I think you're going to have a hard time even breaking an arm on this thing. Well, it actually comes with a spare arm as well, in well, the that, box. That's awesome, isn't it? They, they should all do that. And the fact that Emacs have done it, well, I take my hat off. It sounds ridiculously quiet, like... It does. It's... But whether that's just a function of these flow props or, or not, you know, these light spec motors seem to be performing fantastically too, I must say. I've, I'm a bit of a convert to these motors. Boy, they perform, there's no complaints about that. And especially on a nice lightweight rig. I don't know if I'd call this a super light rig, but it's a lightweight rig. And boy, they've uh, picked the right motors, the right KV. Everything feels fantastic. All right. So uh, what's Cal's famous four words for the Hawk 5? Nothing not to like. Nothing not to like. Look, uh, and I think it comes in at a reasonable price point for what you're getting too. I think it's about 250 US dollars. Yeah, yeah, around and, that much. Uh, wow. For what you're getting it's fantastic all right that's it let's bring it home thank you hawk for a great experience and keep up the good work emacs i'll get it all righty cal it'd be very hard for anyone who's flown one of these not to want one so <laughs> i'm definitely feeling that feeling right now like i want one of these and uh, look, having said that, I probably will get one now. It looks like it's going to be a great addition to my collection and probably become one of my primary quads. But like I said, it's very similar to the Proton. Uh, performs similarly. Um, but, you know, there are a couple of faults with it, I would say. Yep. And that is with the camera itself. Look, I had good vision. There was nothing wrong with the VTX or any of the vision I was getting then. But the camera itself, it's... Uh, it is set back in these uh, cheek plates a little too far and too close to the flight controller. So you are limited to the kind of up angle you can apply to that camera. Did you want more angle on there? Yeah, a little bit more would have been nice. And why is that? 
Oh, so you can use it to its full potential. We can hit the okay. track at this angle. Yep. So um, also, there's not much protection for the camera as well. If they could extend these cheek plates a little bit uh, to protect that little camera and give us a bit more room, we've got a winner. There's, there's no other criticism I can level at it, really. Nice. All right, so you like it? And what do you think about for the price point? I mean, for the two 250 bucks. It's fantastic. And like I said, it's durable quite. It's got reinforced top uh, plate there as well, which looks great and obviously adds quite a bit of strength. Uh, look, you can't go wrong with this. This is, uh, I recommend it, 100%. All right, nice. Thanks, Cal. Radio CTC, so you've flown it around. Grumpy Trev's not here, but he's meant to turn up. Apparently, he's got held up at work. But... Slacker. <laughs> What do you think we're going to get miles per hour with the Hawk 5? I'm going to let you say the first number. We're going to be, what bat? I've got a China, China 100C, China Hobby Line battery on here, 100C. What do you reckon? What does that say, Stu? 2600 kV? Uh, that's 23. 23? Wow. Okay. The 2206s. I don't know nothing. I no, have no experience with these flow props. Yep. So it's just pure speculation, but I think it's going to do over 100 mile an hour. That's you got to give me a number, mate. 100. 100. All right. I'm going to go. I'm going to go big and go 105. And crazily enough, there is not a breath of wind today, which is it's beautiful flying weather. I don't know what's happened this afternoon. All the storms have disappeared. We must be in the eye of the storm. All right. You ready to suit up? 100 miles per hour for you. 105 for me. Let's do it. All right. Swap it up. Thank you, good sir. All right, guys. Today is a bit of a surprise for me. I wasn't expecting this Emacs Hawk to be so darn good. And for that price too, the 250 bucks, <laughs> I don't know why you'd bother going to the pain and time to build your own. Especially when you're getting the benefit of some really high quality PID tuning. If I was starting off in the hobby and I had a spare 250 bucks, I'd definitely have a look at this. You can tune it down so it's not so out of control. You can have a self-level mode on it and even run a 3S battery until you get used to what it can do. But it has a lot of potential. It's a craft you can grow into. And uh, look, it's, it's a good quad for the most seasoned racer. There's no doubt about it. This is a quad for all skill levels, I think, in my view. But just be aware. All right, it's go time. Ready to rock and roll. They've done a great job here. 95. 95 mile an hour. That's not bad. 99 mile an hour. 95. Let's just call it a 100 mile an hour quad in its current configuration. I think if you've got some 2600 kV. Nothing on that one. I think it would uh, break 100 mile an hour quite easily. 94. So we're consistently getting speeds around the 95 mark. That's with a 2300 kV motor on it. That's impressive. 91. I'd like to throw some AVAM props on it too to see. Oh no, get out of here, you mongrel. Good out, good out, good out. Good out! Oh, you never know, you never know, you never know. Ah, what a mean machine. So 99. <laughs> That's close. That's good for 2300 kV. Yeah, that's I, well. I'd agree. I reckon 26, you'd be over. Yep. And the crazy thing is when you're doing a two hit is like, it's not moving around, it's just rock solid. Like it stays the same orientation, I guess you'd say. Yeah. Beautiful tune. And you know, when you're on the racetrack too, I don't think you miss that extra 10 mile an hour in yeah. the top end at all. All right, Cal, do you want to explain what are we doing and why? All right, we're going to swap out the props from uh, the Evan, or actually the Emax Flow to the Avans, just to see if we can get a, a little bit of extra juice out of them on the speed run. Because the, the Avans traditionally really rip in the speed run, so uh, it's going to be interesting, you know, because they're a bit more aggressive, I think, than these. So I wonder if it'll throw the tune off as well. But I reckon I'm going to say we're going to crack a hundred with uh, with the Avans on there. I have no idea. <laughs> Alright guys, we're just going to do another speed run with the Hawk 
and we're going to throw some Avan props on just to see if we can uh, bleed a little bit more speed out of it. We're running a 1500 milliamp pack at the moment. Before we were running a 1300 China Line Hobby. So it's carrying a little bit of extra weight, but it will be interesting to see how these props compare to the flow. 2300 kV motors. All right, here it goes. What can you do, Hawk? 99! 99 mile an hour. 101 mile an hour. There you go guys, it's got a heavier battery on, it's running AVAM props now and we're getting over 100 mile an hour. 93 on that one. I think it's at the end of the battery more or less, but uh... 96! Spared the grief of an attack. For once. Alright, there you go guys. Heavier battery, AVAM props. A little bit quicker on the top end. I don't know how... If any, you would, well, maybe you'd lose a bit of control going around a track with these A-Vans a compared to the flow, but... Uh, it's the tune still felt rock solid. Yeah. It felt very, very similar, like 99% the same in terms of how it handled with those props. Yeah, they performed very similarly. And you still felt like you had the same amount of control. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It was great. Even at like when, it, it says a lot when you can smash full throttle 100% on a quad and it still stays in its orientation that yeah. you put it. Doesn't, it wasn't drifting, it wasn't turning, it was just like like when you said the simulator, I think that sums it up the best. Alrighty, so there it is. Uh, there was my part two review of the Hawk 5 and I think Cal really sums it up best. You know, when he used that word, it's like a simulator because it feels exactly like that. So many people say the simulator doesn't feel like the real thing because the real thing, it has a few different bobbles and it's just, this doesn't do exactly what you want it to on the sticks, but this, this felt like it was cheating physics there. It wasn't, it, it it's very hard to describe other than saying it was absolutely amazing. So out of everything I've ever flown, it reminded me so much of when I was flying the Merrick around, but it's coming in at half the price. And this is different to some of those other top, top tier binder flies, things like the Proton, things like the Merrick, all those sorts of ones, because they are mainly focused on the frame. And then those vendors put together special, you know, special high components, all those sorts of things, they put it together. And that's not really the market they're going for. This one's special because look, the price of 250 bucks is absolutely absolutely crazy for what you get and when you can take this thing out of the box they all come like this the tune on here is stellar bar none and it is just it's just a gorgeous flight experience. So look, I'm obviously gushing over this thing a lot, but I would be more than happy for anybody out there to go and pick one of these up, rip it around, and you're gonna have a top tier racer. So if you're out there, you don't wanna do building, or maybe you just want another fantastic drone, this thing is definitely an absolute beast on the race course and just having fun. It's a, it's a beautiful flight experience. And so much so, I'm gonna say, if they make drones more like this in the future for this price, I, I love building drones, but I would actually give up building and I would quit doing that and I would just get a buy and a fly like this because it is absolutely, I just keep saying it, but it is so good to fly around. Anyway, I've gushed about this thing enough. Subscribe for more FPV related content and drop your comments down below. What do you think about the Hawk 5? Go and check out the part one if you want to sort of see the giveaway. Share some love for Grumpy Trev. Congratulations to Emacs because uh, you're going to be seeing this thing a lot in the future. Not this one, but I'm sure that, you know, when we come to Drone of the Year awards and stuff near the end of the year, I'm feeling like this one is going to be right up there. I can't wait to see if anything tops this because if that happens, I'm... It, I just can't, I still can't believe how good this is for a bind and fly out of the box. Subscribe for more FPV related content and as always, happy flying. I'd really love to know what you think about it as well. You know, watching that flight footage, how did this thing look? You know, you've seen a lot of my videos. How did this thing look in comparison? Because on the sticks, I'm telling you, it felt incredible. Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos. And I'm also going to leave a little link here to my Patreon page because I've got some fantastic Patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well. So if you want to join the UAV Futures family, there's things like bonus Velcro straps, little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out. Anyway, happy flying.